So U.S. Visit is a program that was started after 9-11 to vet visitors to the United States and check those visitors to the United States are not on any known or suspected terrorist watch lists. Since 2004, the, the program has grown greatly and, and we have many stakeholders across the Department of Homeland Security and the federal government. We work with Customs and Border Protection and ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, um, and the Department of State in issuing visas. We make, on average, about 200,000 identifications per day. And the, the system enrolls, on average, 2 million new biometric registries every month. Well, information technology has advanced greatly in, in the past several years since U.S. Visit's inception. And even when U.S. Visit started, there were existing capabilities available that were adopted and augmented. And so with the introduction of new technologies, there's certainly an opportunity for us to evolve our architecture and to be able to deliver the solutions that are needed to secure our nation in a more streamlined fashion. Our stakeholders are eager to adopt other forms of verifying identity and there's a pilot that's ongoing f with the Border Patrol to uh, evaluate the adoption of iris and facial imaging. So certainly after 9-11 the country wanted a way to vet visitors to the United States and we have that today using fingerprints. And with the expansion of biometrics as those technologies advance and, and if the decision is made to adopt those in a, on a larger scale, we would be giving our stakeholders and, and the folks who are on the front lines of securing our nation another means for verifying identity of individuals who are entering our country. So I would ask industry to help us move in the direction of adopting shared services using open standards that are deployed on a common infrastructure. You know, we, historically, we've seen you know, stovepipe systems, single solution systems used by various organizations. These, these technologies and the, the, uh, the ubiquitous, the ubiquity of networks now gives us the opportunity um, to share a lot of these services that have already been put into place. And so rather than building something new we will look to adopt these shared services so that the country can leverage the investments that have already been made. So certainly an opportunity to hear what, what government and industry um, are, are involved in, in the evolution of, of technology, and, and also what areas that government is either looking to expand, um, and then from the government's perspective to hear from industry what technologies they're seeing that, that may be beneficial to, to the government as we look for ways to satisfy our mission.